If you're like me, collection events have been lost in the background of BTD6, just offering a slightly larger reward for boss events and the occasional daily challenge. In fact, I don't think I've grinded a collection event since COVID back in 2020. What's the problem? Well, the fastest way for getting these rewards is to grind expert maps on Impoppable, and if you come across a map that you don't think you can beat first try, you beat it on easy. This can be incredibly tedious, as once you get the hang of Impoppable, farms make it so easy that it isn't fun, and worst case scenario, you leak a balloon near the end and you have to start completely over. But my friends, Ninja Kiwi has given us a new solution, chimps. This last update added a retry last round feature if you leak, letting you not start completely over. And when you win, you still get the full collection event rewards no matter how many retries you used. This is a great stress-free way to play harder maps as they can still be challenging, but you don't have to worry about memorizing every single ability timing and what monkeys are needed when. So turn auto start on, blast some post Malone, and either play a difficult map or use some funky strats on easier ones. This doesn't stop it being more enjoyable though. You still get all the benefits of Impoppable in that you get the free Insta Monkey from beating round 100, you get tons of experience as you don't enter free play until you pop the bad, and it offers tons of monkey money for winning, especially if you don't have the Chimps medal yet. Just be careful as it will reward a red Chimps medal instead of a black one if you retry it around. That being said, this is also a great way to practice for your eventual black border run that you have to do without leaking. You can see what starts you like best, did they require tons of micro, and was there any RNG? You can practice popping the bad with a first strike to not deal with the insides, you can get used to other forms of camo detection rather than just a village or ETN, you can try skipping a mib by using a glue storm embrittlements or acidic mixture dips, you can see what monkeys struggle at dealing with multiple tracks, find out what rounds need abilities, test what parts of the game each hero excels in, what round you can afford certain tier 5s at, etc. All this in a no downside game mode that is still fun because Ninja Kiwi has balanced the game around chimps. Or you can go on easier maps and mess around, like getting a super glue on rake or a spirit of the forest and mob dom on firing range but give it a try it's been the most fun and relaxing gameplay i've had in quite some time